So today on May 5th, 2020, Amazon just announced their brand new free-to-play third-person shooter game called Crucible. My name is Baggins, and today we're going to be going over all the news we have about the game and also giving you several reasons to get hyped for its release just a couple weeks from now on May 20th. Let's go. Now, despite the fact that Crucible was only effectively announced today, there is quite a wealth of information out there about the game. I think right now, at the time of recording, we have four different articles, a gameplay trailer, and also a gameplay preview. If you are interested in taking a look over any of that stuff in your own time, I'll put links to them all in the description down below. But in this video, I'm gonna try and save you some time and condense all that information into one handy dandy guide sort of explanation and like I say, reasons why we should be hyped the game. Now, if you haven't seen the trailer already, as I say, there will be a link to it down below, but a lot of people so far have been comparing it to the cycle and also saying it looks pretty underwhelming. Now, whilst there is nothing inherently wrong with the cycle itself, we've played it quite a few times here on the channel, I think it is an excellent game. There is something to be said about the uh, trailers and the videos that we've seen for Amazon's other game, New World, and when we compare it to what we've seen so far of Crucible. It does look like, so far, the, the marketing budget, at least uh, for the trailer-wise is a little bit lower. Uh, you know, New World's having these fully fancy animated videos with like a deep story and backline, and uh, we kind of just got to see general gameplay from Crucible so far. I think herein lies the first danger of people making, you know, assumptions and looking at the gameplay and just immediately dismissing it. I think we do very much live in an age where people will make a decision just on a very snap first impression, and that will decide whether the game gets played or not. So hopefully, uh, over the next few days, we're going to see Amazon sort of ramp it up and release, you know, more animated, more in-depth videos that give us, you know, a bit more backstory and look a bit shinier and more polished than what we've seen. However, that being said, as long as the gameplay is solid, that's what's most important to me. And as somebody who has played in the alpha so far, this game has been uh, play tested thoroughly by uh, many thousands of people like myself. I can say that the gameplay is solid. So whilst I can't show any personal gameplay here on my channel, I am going to be playing uh, footage in the background. This one's from Games Radar. Again, links to that in the description down below whilst I talk you through what is Crucible. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, the game is going to be coming out in just a couple weeks, uh, May 20th, and it's a hero shooter, so you have uh, specific characters that you can play that have their own abilities and weapons, I think like Overwatch or Paladins. It's team-based, again, like Overwatch or Paladins, and you also play for an objective. So again, like an Overwatch or a Paladins. However, the game does do some pretty different stuff from these games. This is kind of where the similarities sort of fade apart, in that the characters in the game, or hunters as they call them, don't have designated roles. You know, when you look at Overwatch, you have the tank characters, you have the damage characters, you have support characters, whereas in Crucible, from what they've described so far, the 10 different hunters available kind of do a bit of everything, but they do still have their own specialty. So if you're looking for a Widowmaker character, the articles describe that there is uh, one particular character that you can play that has a sniper rifle, she has a grappling hook, you know, she's got some mobility. If you want to play something a little bit more tanky with a bit more health, there is this Earl character that you can play. However, they are not designated into those roles. You don't have to play a tank, you don't have to play a support. Everybody can kind of does a little bit of everything. Now again, where we get a little bit different here is the there is an in-game leveling system. So you can kind of think of something like a Paragon, a Gigantic is also what some other people have been comparing it to. Although from actually playing the game itself, I feel like Evolve is maybe one of the closest comparisons. But as you play over the period of one match, you will unlock different uh, talents or abilities which modify your character to make them stronger in a particular avenue. Now you get to choose what path you go down in terms of your talents. If you're needing a little bit more mobility, maybe it'll be available for that character or just a little bit more damage, you feel like you aren't winning the team fights as often and you need to just uh, burst through their tanks. And this is one of the aspects of the game that I'm super excited for. A question that's come up in the past and I still see every now and again is Baggins Overwatch or Paladins. And whilst I can respect that Overwatch is a well-refined, polished game, I still lean more towards Paladins just because of the build and loadout system. The idea that the character that you're playing on your team will not be the same as the character played on the enemy team. You know, the, the difference that the build or talent system gives you, it really appeals to that RPG MMO nerd inside of me. And I'm very, very excited to show you guys more of this as more gameplay gets revealed and as we actually get a chance to, you know, stream it and play it here on the YouTube channel. 
Now, in terms of how does the game actually play, Relentless Studio, the guys who make the game, have announced three different game modes. So they have Harvest the Command, Heart of the Hives, and Alpha Hunters. Now, in Heart of the Hives, you have teams of four, and uh, those players on the team must work together to take down these giant hives. And then once taken down, capture the heart of the hive. You can see where the title is coming from, and it's the first to capture three hearts win. Now, this seems to be one of the most tactical and uh, strategic base game modes from what we hear so far. Uh, the other one, Harvest the Command, more casual. It's teams of eight, and uh, the objective is simply just to control points on the map. So you control a harvester, that gives you essence, uh, and as your essence racks up, it's the first to get to 100 wins. So whether the red team or the blue team gets to 100 first, that is decided on who will be the winner. So just a sort of map control domination style game mode. And then the third and final game mode is Alpha Hunters. Now this will probably appeal to the Battle Royale enthusiasts that are in the comments and watching this video, as Alpha Hunters is eight teams of two with a sort of permadeath system. So there is a slowly shrinking circle, which converges at a random point the map and at once players die in this game mode they're gone that's it now if you drop in immediately and lose your teammate it doesn't necessarily mean you're screwed for the rest of the game because of the xp and leveling system you could level up high enough to outplay the other players in the game just by being more experienced or you can also form a temporary pact with another player so similar to what we've seen in the cycle or maybe sos for those of you who remember it you can uh, offer up an alliance to another player that you come across if they're an individual they can choose to accept or decline that alliance however at any any given point the alliance can be broken and the other player can shoot the other one in the back so when alpha hunters the objective is just to be the last individual or the last team of two standing so three game modes each appealing to its own kind of player base you know we've got harvest the command for the more casual player we've got heart of the highs for those who like team-based strategy and then we've got alpha hunters for those who are a bit more of a battle royale enthusiast and yeah, honestly, everything that I've seen from this game so far just really seems uh, pretty awesome. You know, we're taking things that we've seen from a lot of different games. You know, we've got player versus player, but also player versus environment. So PvP, PvE combined with a leveling in-game system like you would get from MOBAs. We have heroes or characters with specific abilities like you get in uh, Overwatch. And then we have objective-based gameplay that is pretty different from what we've seen in other games. You know, you look at something like Valorant, CSGO, Rogue Company, the objective is to defeat Defuse the bomb. Not particularly exciting. Defuse the bomb, plant the bomb. You look at Overwatch or Paladins, capture a point, push a payload. Uh, you know, not very inspired game modes. Perhaps when they first happened, it was uh, pretty interesting, but to see Amazon go for something very different, you know, uh, take on a giant alien hive, destroy it, and capture its heart, all the while trying to maintain farm, be more high level than your opponent, and it's free to play. I mean, to be honest, what is there to lose? So, yeah, that's Crucible, guys. Uh, again, coming out in just a couple weeks from now, May 20th. I'll put a link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out on Steam. Obviously, a question that I know is going to crop up in the comments is Baggins. Is it available on console? Now, feel free to shame any of those who didn't make it this far in the video and just ask the question straight away. But right now, the answer is undecided. I'm sure if anybody had the money and resources to take a game and port it from one platform to another, Amazon would definitely be one of them, but we'll have to wait and see what they actually plan to do in terms of Crucible and whether it'll be coming to the console further down the line. Anyway guys, that's all I have to talk about today. As we get more details about Crucible, I'll be sure to share them here on the channel. If you are interested in this game, you want to learn more, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay updated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you see. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Crucible so far, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.